part two, chapter 30 of Don Quixote, Sancho Panza is ready to turn around and go home when he and Don Quixote meet the Duke and Duchess, both of whom are delighted mm -hmm. to stumble upon the subjects of the ingenious gentleman, Don Quixote de la Mancha. The Duke and Duchess invite the men to stay as long as they'd like. In part two, chapter 31, the Duke runs ahead of the group and tells his servants to treat Don Quixote as if he were a valiant knight. Don Quixote's arrival is therefore greeted with enormous fanfare, but Sancho Panza makes one verbal blunder after another, embarrassing his master. Don Quixote dines with the Duke, the Duchess, and the resident priest, who calls Don Ugh. Quixote a brainless wonder and exhorts him to go home Ugh. instead of parading around the countryside pretending to be a knight. In part two, chapter 32, Don Quixote makes his rebuttal to the priest, defending both himself and knight errantry. The Duke promises Sancho Panza a governorship, and the priest is so disgusted that he leaves and refuses to return until Sancho and Don Quixote leave. Four girls bring in water and soap for the customary <laughs> after dinner washing, but they soap up Don Quixote's beard instead of his hands. Surprised and amused by his servant's actions, the Duke insists on having his beard washed too. The butler takes Sancho Panza away for his own dinner, and the Duke, the Duchess, and Don Quixote talk about Dulcinea del Toboso. The Duke theorizes that she is nothing more than a phantasm conjured up and born in your grace's brain, and Don Quixote doesn't disagree. Sancho Panza returns in a rush, followed by boys from the kitchen who are trying to wash his beard in a bowl of dirty dishwater. The Duchess jokingly tells them off and invites Sancho Panza to join her and her ladies during the afternoon siesta. Cervantes outwardly supported the Catholic Church, but that support didn't extend to all of its members. This is evident in his description of the Duke and Duchess's resident priest, whom the narrator Ugh. describes as incapable of understanding individuals Ugh. different from themselves and therefore unable to teach others how to behave. These men serve to guide nobility, but their narrow-mindedness causes more harm than good. This is the closest Cervantes gets to saying something derogatory about the church. He needed to stay in its good graces to publish.